what's up you guys? I'm Ashlyn Jimenez. And I'm Scott Hinckley. And welcome back to another episode of InSync with New Tech. This week we have a lot of new things going on in our school. Last week the chemistry classes were finishing their vol project by presenting and playing their games. To find out exactly what this whole project is about, we talked to Mr. Rodarte and a student, Calista Chapman, who is involved with the making of a life-size game of life created in the Commons. Let's take a look at those interviews. Today I'm here with Calista Chapman, who is one of the creators of the Life Size Life board game. So what was the inspiration for this game? Um, one day I was playing Life with my friends and my family, and I was like, why not play Life? Or like, Life Evolves. Or... And how exactly does this game work? So you spin the spinner like you do in a regular game of life, and then once you land on a number, you have to answer a question, which is a moral conversion or anything that we've learned in chemistry lately. And um, you answer that question. If you answer it right, then you get to move. But if you don't answer it right, then you skip. Today I'm here with the sophomore chemistry teacher, Mr. Rodarte, to talk about the upcoming mole project. So, Mr. Rodarte, what was the exact point of this project? Uh, it's to learn about a very difficult concept in chemistry called the mole. And what exactly is the mole? What is the mole? It's a it's a cluster of something, often like a, like a dozen, but much larger number because atoms are so small, you need a lot of them. And how did this project work? Uh, so the final product for this project is uh, our games that students can create to help learn the concepts. Um, but it's also a series of competitions and games that students play. And embedded in every team is a mole, which is somebody who's there to kind of uh, conspire against the team and to uh, thwart the team from winning. And were there any outstanding projects that the students came up with during this project? Yeah, there were a lot of interesting ones. We had a uh, life-size game of life. Uh, we had a escape room. We had, um, what else do we have? Some that are just like undefinable because they're not like any other games you've seen. Okay, well, thank you for joining us here today. Thanks. Last week at the Beltonian Theater, there was a screening of the short film that won state, Call Me Back. They played the film, did a Q&A, and then watched Jurassic Park. Let's take a look at some footage from that. Hey guys, I'm Ben Stutz and I'm the man in the field and today we're at the Beltonian because of our UIL award winning short film Call Me Back is that we play today in this theater. Okay, so um, part of our pre-production was location scouting and trying to find out where we wanted to film things. Uh, and we needed a hospital, and Scott and White probably wasn't going to let us film in one of their uh, recovery rooms. So we contacted the UMHB uh, Nursing Center, and they were gracious enough to let us use their room. I think we used it for an hour. And they gave us basically unrestricted access to the, the machinery and equipment in there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh. So <laughs> we used a stock photo. <laughs> I didn't want to be the one to say that. For any juniors or seniors who are looking to attend prom, it's going to be on May 5th at the Expo Center. Tickets are $35 for one student and $60 for two, and those can be purchased for Mr. Potts if you're a junior and Miss Nave if you're a senior. Also, if you're checking out equipment from the Mac Doc to use for your project, remember that you cannot check anything in five minutes before class or five minutes after class. Also, if you're a senior who is looking for more opportunities for scholarships, Ms. Badgett sent out an email with some more information about that. So check your email. A quiet place. One of the most powerful things in horror movies is sound, or the absence of sound. So making a movie where sound is established as a danger, it really puts you on the edge of your seat, any sound made in the entire movie. This movie was amazing. The story was beautiful. It was an alien invasion movie that didn't focus on the invasion. It focused on the survival of the family. Um, I would really call this a modern day Alfred Hitchcock. I would give this movie 9.5 rocket ships out of 10. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Right now,
had the environmental systems class is having their very own garden growing outside the hack shack. Now let's see what Miss Settle said about her project and what they're growing in their garden. Let's dig right into it. Ms. Settle, the environmental science teacher. So Ms. Settle, we're here in front of your beautiful garden. What inspired this garden for you? So uh, last year, Ms. Tabor uh, grew a garden with her students and they had things like tomatoes, bell peppers, and some habanero peppers. And so this year I wanted to keep the tradition going, uh, but we're trying to mix it up a little. We also have stuff like roses and we're doing it in pots so every kid knows like what plant they grew. And what kind of students do you have in this class? Um, so I have mostly seniors, we have a couple of juniors, uh, but it's mostly upperclassmen, and so I think this is a good chance to get like a real world scale in right before they graduate. And is there any real purpose behind the garden other than just growing fruits? So we're growing fruits and vegetables, and students get to uh, pick what vegetables they're gonna grow, and then they also pick like a final product of what they would make with those. So like some students are growing like tomatoes, peppers, and onions, and they're gonna make like tomato sauce out of it at the end. Other students are growing stuff for salsa. Um, and some students, if you actually look back, there is a giant potato plant because they are growing potatoes. Uh, so kids are growing things that they're actually going to be able to like eat. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Absolutely. I hope to see your garden grow more. Yes, I'm so excited. Tonight, the new freshmen will be camping out for their spot to attend New Tech next year. The camp out will start at 5 p.m. and there will be activities until 10 o'clock at night, including the senior versus junior Power to Puff game. We hope to see you there.